morning guys I am going to do some tags today um, this is one I all have already done so these are just um, some with lace and some fabric and everything on there um, so it's just on a bit of card so what I've done I've got some of the tea stain coffee stain card here I've actually got a piece of thicker paper it's 120 gram paper um, to go on the top so this is what I'm going to stick everything onto and sew on there and then I'm just going to stick it on there and sew around it so that means I don't get all the um, can't see all the sewing on the back so pop those to the side so I'm going to do a couple of them because I've already got one these are some of my little seam binding flowers um, that I've done on here so we can pop those on there as well these have got some little dingly danglies there is a tutorial on that so I'll pop the link down below so let's pop that to the side so I'm going to get all my little bits and pieces out I found this piece where did I do with it this which I thought was absolutely gorgeous so I think I might pop this on the front cover I think that's just really pretty so I'm going to keep that try not to use that so I'm going to use a little bit of fabric here this is just um, I think it's an old sheet or something that I used here so it's all cotton and it's just got a slight pink um, hint to it which I'm not quite sure which I what I dyed that with but there is a little bit of beetroot oh, I'm not 100% sure now so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop a little bit down on the bottom on here got the little bits and pieces off so I'll stick a piece of that on the bottom there so I'll do both at the same time so you just get all your little bits of fabric out um, and just sort of like pop them on randomly really and we've got a little bit of the white lace to go on top what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick them down. And all I do is I just stick them down with a bit of glue stick because I'm going to sew over the top of them anyway. So this just holds it in place. Um, and it just, without it showing through the fabric. Because if you use a wet glue, it tends to sort of like seep through. Um, and I really don't want to see the, the glue coming through. So I'm just going to stick these on here. You can always um, trim it off around the edge if you go over afterwards, so that's not a problem. So what else should we have? I'm going to have a little piece of this. So if I stick this down on here, so you can just sort of like layer it up as you go. If it's see-through here, you could always stamp underneath it. Um, with a, a stamp that you're using in your journal or a script stamp that or music stamp they tend to sort of blend themselves into um, any sort of journal really so let's cut off the air so what else have we got in here let's have a piece of this goes on there so, oops Big scissors out, just randomly cut little bits off like this. Stick that like that. Once you've sewn it, it looks completely different because it's like on this one. So I've just layered up little bits and pieces here. Um, so once you've sewn it down. Um, it sort of like makes a nice little collagey effect. So then you can just trim these little bits off. Another good way to use up your bits and pieces, isn't it? Go. So what's we got in here? A little bit of the pink. This one's looking quite pinky, isn't it? This side. Cover up some of the gaps. Okay. 
sure I've got another bit of this fabric somewhere, this lace. Because I'm running out and I really like it, it's really nice. Put this piece under this flap, I think. And just be sewn over the top. So these are quite muted colours. Um, actually, let me quickly show you before I forget. I just sewed it over the top of this little um, booklet that we made yesterday because um, it sort of mutes it down. So that's what it was originally like. Um, so I'm going to put just sew over the top. I was going to do that anyway, but I just thought I'd show you the difference because um, this is a little bit too too bright really to go in the in the journal. Um, I wanted to mute it down a little bit, but I did like this napkin. Um, so it does make a big difference. So that's what I shall be doing as well. So what else can we pop on there? What's this? This is some lots of little threads everywhere. I think that's from when I'm sewing as well. They get everywhere, don't they? So let's pop a little bit of this over the top. Whether this will stick it down, I'm not sure whether it's going to be strong enough. Let's see. Maybe. Okay. Chop around the edges. I think I need to clear my desk a bit. I'm getting a bit, um, I've got things around me and it's just encroaching in, so I've got a less space to work in. Okay, what else have we got in here? Oops, pop that over there. Lovely little flowers. These tags, let me measure it a minute just so you know, because the actual journal pages are six by six. Um, so these tags are five, five by two and a half. So that's quite a nice size because they do actually fit on the, on the pages quite nicely. So they're a nice sort of size to go on there and a good journaling spot on the back. these down I think with a bit of the three in one because I don't think the glue stick will hold it in place enough to um, keep it there until I sew it there we go Maybe I'll go down there. Oops. These are so pretty. They sort of blend themselves into lots of different journals as well when you've got like little flowers. Oops. There we go. Now I just need something at the top. What can we have? Should we have a little bit of white lace on this one? Could do it that way around, couldn't we? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop something like this on the top so it dingle dangles down. So let's just, oops, wrong leg, won't fit, will it? Pop that on there. A little bit of glue here. Okay. Right, what 
which we put on this one. Let's have a look what we've got in here. This is quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's a little bit too big. So go this way. comes down underneath and then I can cut it. Yes, I like that. Stick that on there. In this way. So it overlaps over the top a little bit. There we go. Stick the little flower down again. Okay, so they were quite quick, weren't they? So what I will do, I'm just going to quickly um, sew around them and then I will be back and then we can just attach a little sort of dingly dangly on the top there. So that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Two minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so I've just sewn around these here. Let's just tidy it up a little bit. What did I do with my little scissors? Here we go. Just a few of the little threads that are here. Tidy these little bits up. That's sitting down quite nicely, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to just back them onto the card. I've got the little bits hanging off there so you can see and you don't want to see this um, behind your tag do you? Right, let's get some of this oopsie daisy organised out of the way so on this one I actually just stamped it slightly with the with the, um, the little script stamp so I just did this with a tea stain, with the tea dye I mean, um, just gently on the back so you can see it. Oops, keep moving the camera, sorry. So it's just a quick, you can just see it faintly and it's quite nice because um, I think a couple of the ladies, I think it was Tammy um, and Betty commented about the um, the colour of the ink that I was using which is the tea dye which is quite nice because I wanted the journal to be a bit more subtle and sometimes the vintage photo can be a bit harsh um, but these colours are, are this colour is just perfect because it gives it a nice little muted muted more colour okay so now I've done that I'm going to stick these on here so I'm going to just stick it again with some glue stick so it all sticks down because I will be sewing around the edge so let's just pop these on here like so it sticks down nicely and this one line it up properly you can always trim the edges off there a little bit there we go I'm just going to quickly whiz around the sides and the edges okay so that's the two tags sewing up so look you can so all you've got then is just the, the sewing around the edges let's just trim these little bits up so I think they look really pretty we go 
So that's my other one there, look. So they're gorgeous colours, absolutely lovely colours. So on these ones, I've just got a little bit of the um, velvet in there. So this one I've actually got a little dingly dangly on there. I might pop that one onto there. And then I've just got a little pearl on there. And, there. and I think this one I'm going to keep because I want some of them to go on the front of the front of the journal. Um, so I might just, let's have a look. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll put this one on here because I quite like that one dangling down. So all as I do, I just actually attach it with a 3-in-1. Pop a nice big blob of glue on here. I think it makes a little bit of a difference instead of putting a hole there and a bit of ribbon. So I thought I'd just pop a little flower on there. Make sure that's dangling down in the middle. Hold that on tight. Go and then this one. Big blob of glue. And then we'll pop that one on there. It's got like a little dingly dangly on there if I can turn it round. Little bit of bling. There we go guys, so there's a couple of tags um, all ready to go in the journal. So what I will do next time, I'm going to um, make the pockets, or I might just make sort of like belly bands for these to slide in on the page, um, but we'll see when that time comes. Alright guys, so I will see you in the next video, thank you for joining me, um, and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye bye.